this is Sarah, and we have here today Marcus, co-founder of XYO. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Daily Crypto News. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for inviting me. Awesome. Uh, we're happy to have you. And today we're going to do a quick one-on-one -on -one session of XYO. All right. The first question: What does XYO do in a couple of sentences? Yeah, in a couple of sentences, it's difficult. So uh, we are building uh, the new sovereign internet. Basically, uh, we validate and verify data, and that allows us to, to build a sovereign internet. Cool. Maybe extra question. What would be, how would you define sovereign uh, internet? Sovereign is basically, you have complete control over it. Uh, you control the data and, and where and with whom you connect. Yeah. Okay. Can I can I understand as as a blockchain network as well? Yeah, yeah, it's this uh, blockchain network, um, XYO network, it's an awful name, and uh, it's uh, all powered by what we love in, in Web three and Web two. Um, as far as far as I'm concerned, our listeners are quite educated, and they would know quite very much very many types of uh, blockchain networks. So why do we need one more uh, blockchain here? Yeah, our network is a little different. It connects all the layers. So it connects between blockchain networks and it connects between uh, Web2 technologies and any upcoming technologies. It allows you to do use your data, for example, which you might store on a Google Cloud, right? And, and then uh, connect it with data on, I don't know, Ethereum, for example, or Polygon or, or wherever you have it. And uh, it, it connects it all and, and it allows you also to do things in a very efficient way. We use uh, something called tangles, uh, which uh, yeah, are small pieces of, of uh, code, basically, uh, which are immutable, similar to other blockchain type stuff, but they are very small. So uh, you can uh, have them on IoT devices and, and other devices. And, and if you look at, at most regular blockchains, right, they are a little bit inefficient. You know, if you look at Ethereum's gas fees, for example, right, and uh, you can't run that on an IoT device, but uh, the way we set up the XYO network, uh, you can. Okay, then maybe deep a little bit, um, uh, dive deep a little bit on the interoperability. What what would be the unique positioning in terms of interoperability? Yeah, it's uh, you can use uh, JavaScript code, for example, right? You, you don't need to be a Solidity Pro, and, and then you can connect uh, that uh, with a smart contract, for example, and build uh, your, your modules of the Sovereign Internet. Okay. Um, do you have a token? Yes, we do. Yeah, it's called XMI. Why do you have token? Yeah, uh, this token allows you to, to power uh, it's two things. One of them is uh, to collect data and to validate and verify, to store it and, and to crunch that data and, and connect everything, basically. So it's, it's like the gas in the network, uh, which powers the components of the XYO network. And then also just to incentivize people to uh, collect and, and share data. And uh, we want to make sure that uh, you own the data and, uh, and uh, that you have the right to, to monetize your own data. And uh, for that, we have the XYO token to enable you to, to be rewarded for the data. Okay, cool. Um, can you share a little bit of 2024 plan of XYO? <laughs> we are about to release our 2024 roadmap, so I can't share too much yet, but it has to do with the sovereign internet and we haven't spoken about that much yet. Right, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Um, any sneak peek that we can kind of extract from you today? <laughs> uh, sovereign internet is, is a sneak peek. We basically want to build a new internet. Uh, it's our dream. We think that the internet, uh, which we see today, is not how it's uh, intended it to be. And uh, we believe uh, the intended users to have uh, much more control. Today, it's, uh, it is uh, powered by big corporations and government organizations. And uh, we want the, to put the internet into the user's pocket again so that it becomes pure peer-to-peer -peer and that uh, full control is, is with users and, and not a few corporations and organizations. Yeah. Uh, is there any specific area that XYO is focusing on in terms of adoption, uh, developers or partners? 
Yeah, we, we focus on the world, but we make a big push in Asia right now, for example, in, in, uh, in Singapore and other, other places in Asia, you know, Vietnam and the Philippines. And uh, we look for communities there and, and developers and uh, the exchanges, maybe, which want to trade our token. And uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, have you been hacked any time since, ever since your launch? The company or me personally? Uh, the company. Yeah, uh, yeah. In the network. No. No. Okay, that's good. Any any risk mitigation that uh, that is in place? Yeah, we have a, a strong community which uh, looks for flaws in in the network, right? And, and so it always like makes suggestions how we can harden our our network and our technology. And then uh, we have an awesome team. Uh, which implements those things and then of course we do audits we had the audit of our smart contracts for example and to make sure that uh, everything is in order there and then you know the with ai you know hacking uh, is it's more prevalent uh, right because it becomes much easier to social engineer and to do those kinds of things as well and and so we are working uh, with our team and our community to harden them as, as well against individual attacks Okay, that sounds promising. Um, to be a little bit more macro Web3 sense, uh, if you can think of one thing, what would you do to have cryptocurrency in daily life? One thing. Uh, I I want it to be in, in everything, right? I don't want to have a, a bank account or I don't want to... Uh, I want crypto to be everywhere, like to be the incentive for everything we do in the, mm. in the world and, and not just one thing. If, if to boil it down one to one thing, I don't know, it's already there. You know, I do transactions in, in cryptocurrency and it's already there and I love it. Maybe it should be much easier to use and more seamless for, for people who are not uh, crypto nerds like myself. Okay, good. Um, anything that you'd like to share before we close? Uh, that was pretty comprehensive, I think. Uh, we just visited on CoinW, a new exchange, and uh, we look forward to uh, to expand that partnership with that exchange as well. Yes, congratulations on the listing. Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, where can people find you or XYO? Uh, XYO on uh, Discord and Telegram and, and Twitter, Instagram, just Google us, just follow our Newsletter. I think that's a good way to to get in, in uh, to get uh, to know about XYO and then to to start following us and get interested in what we do. Sounds great. Okay, I'll put it in the show note. Thank you, sir. All right, that's that's all for today. Please like and subscribe and leave a good review of Daily Crypto News. See you in the next episode. Bye.